this week's video tip, we're going to talk about wet carpet drying techniques. If you have a small area rug or carpet that is wet, the best thing to do is remove it from the floor and hang it outside until it dries completely. If you are dealing with wet wall-to-wall -wall carpet or a carpet piece that is too large to remove, you may need to dry it in place. Use a wet vac or a steam cleaner to remove any excess water from the carpet. If it feels like there is water under the carpet, pick up the corner to get a better look. If the pad is a little damp, try drying it in place. With the carpet lifted, use an industrial air blower to blow air under and onto the pad. If the pad is soaked and the subfloor is wet, remove the carpet and pad for drying. If you don't, the subfloor can develop secondary problems like buckling and mold growth. Reinstall the dry carpet and pad only after the subfloor is completely dry. Pay attention to walls and subfloors. These are often overlooked when drying wet carpet. Water damage repair can be complicated. When in doubt, give us a call. We have the experience to ensure your carpet, your subfloor walls are all dried properly and the health of your family is protected.